Welcome back friends. Today we are going to have a slightly long lecture. So stay tuned. We are going to discuss all the concepts about cell war. Now, cell war is the rigid outer layer that surrounds the plasma membrane of plant, algae and bacteria cell. It is found in plants, algae and bacteria cell but absent in animal and the protozoa cell, such as amoeba. So cell wall is found in the plant, algae, bacterial cell, and the fungi, but it is absent in the animal cell and the protozoa. Now cell wall of plant cell is made up of cells, is a strengthening material. Cell wall of fungal cell is made up of chitin, and cell wall of algae is made up of cellulose. Cell wall of bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan or peptidoglycan. This is the polymer of polysaccharide and amino acid. Now here sometimes teachers, they may ask you to write the strength material of the cell wall of the following organisms. Then they give you plant, fungal, algae, bacterial cell. You should be aware of that. Now, what we will be dealing with is a plant cell wall. A plant cell wall is built in a series of steps. A cell wall is differentiated into three layers, middle lamella, primary layer, and secondary layer. Middle lamella, these are two newly formed cells, consist of middle layer. The one which makes a portion between them. The structure contains a glue substance. This glue substance is called pectin that helps to hold the cell together. So let's say here we have two plant cells. Assume here we have two plant cells. And then let's say this this is our so let's say this is cell one and this is cell two. Cell one has its own cell wall and cell two has its own cell wall. Now here in between there is a kind of like boundary joining between two cells. This is what is called middle middle lamella. Middle lamella. So it is made up of pectin that help to hold cell together. Primary cell wall. Each cell forms a primary cell wall on its side of lamella. The structure is composed of cellulose, a fibrous material. It is slightly elastic. The elasticity of cellulose allows the cell wall to stretch and the cell grows. Now the primary cell wall, it is formed soon after cell differentiation. Soon after cell division, I mean. If the cell continue to differentiate, or if the cell continue to grow, primary cell wall undergo impigmentation. If there are some of the rigid material or strength material are added to the primary cell wall, so it becomes secondary, it becomes very rigid, it becomes very tough. Now, when the cell wall is completely grown in a plant, that you have wood stem and secondary cell wall. This wall is composed of cells and lignin. Each endocrine is a lignin substance that stiffen, make it stiff, make it hard. The cells, wood material that consists of mainly rigid secondary cell wall. Kwa yo meat wena kwa na secondary cell wall. A primary cell wall is secreted by cytoplasm. It is the result of fusion. Of gold vesicles. 
cell wall does not form a continuous layer. It is interrupted by minute pores called plasmodes matter, as you saw in the structure of plant cell, that there are some of the pores in the cell wall called plasmodes matter. Plasmodes matter are thin strands of cytoplasm that possess through the cell wall and allow movement of material between the adjacent cell. Now let's say if here is our two cells, plasmodes matter can be a pore like here. Now this can allow the movement of material from one cell to another cell, from cytoplasm from one cell to another cell. And let's say if we had another cell here, and here we have plasmodes matter, means this plasmodes matter would allow the movement of material from this cell to that cell. And all the fact about plasmodes matter is like that. Generally, cell wall is composed chemically of carbohydrate, which are polysaccharide called cellulose. So this is plant cell wall. In addition, it has also lignin, pectin, suberin, joining together with magnesium and calcium. Plant cell wall is polar substance. It has pitches, which are small pores, which allow free movement of material. In this case, cell wall does not prevent osmosis. Because cell wall high prevent osmosis because of gani, in a pores which allow women to fort. Now here there are some differences between primary and secondary cell wall. Na bazi wali mwana ziuliza. Primary cell wall lies internal lamella. Primary cell wall lies internal lamella. Secondary cell wall lies internal to primary cell wall. This lies internal internal to lamella but this lies internal to primary cell wall the second difference it is formed in the growing cell during cell division this is found in certain cell only this is found in all plant cell found in certain cells only fourth difference it is elastic elastic and capable of expansion even rigid i lose expansion Primary cell wall are single layered, this is three or more layered. Cellulose microfibril are shorter, wavy and loosely arranged. Cellulose microfibril are longer, close arranged in a pile and straight. A sub primary cell wall does not have thickening material. Secondary cell wall may have thickening material like lignin and suberin. Now, function of cell wall in the plant. Kwa hapa ziko nyingi na wazi na ulizo pia. Ziko nyingi nyingi. Ya kwanza it gives shape of the cell. Yani naifanya cell iwe lejula. Ya pili it protect ina parts of the cell against mechanical damage and the entry of pathogens. Such as presence of cups, casparian strip in the endodermal cell of the roots prevent movement of water into the endodermal cells through cell wall. That is called the apoplast pathway. We shall go to see it on transport. This helps to prevent entrance of pathogens into, endo, into endodermal cell and xylem tissue. At to it prevent osmotic bursting of the cell in a plant that maintain targeted. Yen assists in cell division in plants by forming cell plate. Yatano, it develop a coat of wax, wax cutting on epidermal surface. This reduces water loss and risk of dehydration. Koina punguza water loss by trans, transpiration. Yasita, it helps to control cell growth due to the orientation of cellulose microfibril limits and help to control cell growth and shape because the cell's ability to stretch is determined by their arrangement. So, kuna function is in the area ba, kumba cell wall has cells microfibril, which is slightly elastic. Elasticity and the orientation of these microfibril help in cell growth. To make sure I discuss here, numa, yanane some cell wall are modified as food reserves. 
as in storage of hemicellulose in some seeds. Kwa base ya seed si kwenselu huu wana store kitu kinaito hemicellulose na zinaitumia wakati ya seed germination. Uh, ya tisa SL huu act as a pleasure vessel preventing osmotic pressure passing the cell. Ya kumit the pathway for movement of water and many sorts. But cell huu ni pami ya bukwe na rusu movement ya different materials. Kumina moja cell huu reduce the risk of water loss and infection. Wakati ya kumina mbili cell huu provides mechanical strength and is care to support to individual cell and for the plant is huu. Kwa unavona kwa mfano miti na yana misimame mili kusubabu. Every cell has a cell wall which has lignin make them tough and then wameweza kuwa na wood structure. Ya kuminatatu cell wall is very ligid and resist to expansion and therefore allow the development of targeted when you want to enter the cell by osmosis. This contributes to support of all plants and the main source of support in herbaceous plant and organs such as leaves. Kwa unakuta kwenye plant such as herbaceous plant manakini zile glasses. Glasses ndo kodogo. Yani kwa hapa sezi ni kukutolea mfano. Lakini ni zile glasses. For you'll get time another day I can give you example when I'll be teaching on transporting. But Sebastian's glands is Sebastian's plant C. Sebastian's plant C. They are very small plants. And especially kwa kwetu Afrika wa zinaota kwenye kama nyumba, kingo za nyumba sasa. Mostly those plants they don't have wood. Their main support is on the targeted of the cell which is provided by the vacuole but also target of the cell provided by the cell wall. Uh, ya kumina nene cell wall develop a coating or executing. Tushia isu mzeo. Ya kumina tano, the cell wall of xylem vessel and sieve tube are adapted for long distance translocation of matter. Kumina se the cell wall of root epidemos are impregmented with the suben in that form barrier to water movement. Kumina saba cell wall of cell wall of transfer cell develop an increased surface area and the subsequent increase in surface area of the cell surface membrane increases the efficiency of transfer active transport kwa hiyo baazi ya hizi hapo utakuta kama zimejirudia hizo we usishulike nazo usishulike nazo nikio na mana kamba achana nazo tu Shanazo na wana kama mijirudia na kuetea utata chanayo kusabu wapa ziko pointi nini. Ziko kumi na saba. Ukichambu wa chambu wa zizo jirudia. Zizo kapata ta pointi kumi ambazo. Izi nolisi ni kweli ndo nizo somea mimi. Na I performed you well by that. By that way lakini. Sora ni kwamba. Sometimes. Nolisi kama hizi. Tulikuwa tutukui kira kitu kama kilivyo. So because I collected a lot of material then I, I started filtering. Now even ndivu ambavu tuliko tunasoma. Kwa unakona material nyingi then you filter yourself. Una, una chuja. Una chuja yale ya liyo ya muhimu au ya liyo ya pesa ya ilikuwa kukushika. Now adaptation of cell wall. Ya kwanza ni place of cell loss and ligin implementation to increase mechanical support. Ya pi ni presence of middle lamela. In a join between two cells. And plasma or decimata which connect two cells to plasma. So as far as it says the movement of water and salt between cells. Ya tatu ni presence of subenin impregnation. And epidemi works. Amba yu tulisema kwa mba ina prevent excessive loss of water. Or prevent dehydration by transpiration. Ya nina ni presence of cellos which is rigid and hard in nature to help the cell to maintain the shape of the cell. Kwa yu huku tunazumuzia mwabu ku maintain shape, huku nazumuzia pia cellos mwabu ya mechanical stress. Presence of cellos and ligin material increase rigidity. It act as pleasure vessel preventing over entry the cell base must this ensure long survival of the plant even if are subjected to hypotonic solution.
Kwa hiyo cell hiyo imeishia hapo. This is all about its structure and all about its function and adaptation. Next lecture itakuwa ni cell membrane na kwa cell huo hapa ni ni pafupi tu. Cell membrane is very long because cell membrane is a complex structure compared to cell wall. So stay with me, subscribe my channel, join my Telegram group. You find these notes in picture format in my Telegram group. But stay with me for more and more videos in biology and chemistry. Thank you.